Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytime on KTV. Today I'm going to be reading an amazing book called Dream Big Little Core. It's by an organisation called Curious Khalsa and it's illustrated by Pradeep Singh. The book talks about 10 Sikh women who contributed a lot to our history and who were also brave and bold and had inner beauty and strength so that we can also become model Gursik. So before we start, we're going to relax, we're going to take a deep breath in. Let's get comfortable. Let's forget that the dog ate your homework and relax. Wahigru. Dream big, little core. Dream big, little core. So fortunate and blessed you are, daughter of the great Guru Gobind Singh. Aim high, you can be anything. Shine bright and realize the strength within you. Find inspiration from Guru Sikhs who follow the Guru. Be loving like Baby Nan Kiji. She loved her brother more than all the stars in the sky. She was the first to see that Guru Nanak made the whole world brighter. Did you know that Baby Nanki was the first Sikh? As Baby Nanki loved her brother, let's think about the people that we love the most. Who do you love the most? Be selfless like Mata Kiviji. She humbly cooked and served Lunga where the wealthy and penniless all sat together to enjoy a meal as delicious as the icing on a cake. Selfless means that she did seva, lots and lots of seva, without expecting anything in return. Can you think about what seva that you did today? Be devout like Bibi Amrogji. She woke up even before the birds started tweeting and sang in her sweet voice. Her melodious kirtan led Guru Amadasji to the house of Nanak. Bibi Amroji used to wake up at Amrit Vela to sing kirtan. Amrit Vela is a time, is the early hours of the morning before sunrise. Can you sing your favourite Shabbat? Accept God's will, like Bibi Baniji. Bibi Baniji was a thoughtful daughter, a loving wife and a fantabulous mother. She always had a sparkling smile that lit up the room even when things didn't go her way. Wahiguru wants us to accept his hukam. Whatever he's chosen for us, with a smile. Therefore, what would you do if your favourite toy was lost forever and ever. Would you be sad? Would you complain? Would you be angry? Or would you just accept Wai Guru's hukum that your toy is lost and smile? Be creative like Bibi Rup Korji. She collected the pearls of wisdom as Guru Haraiji spoke with the Sangat and she created treasured documents. Bibi Rup Korji was Sri Guru Haraiji's daughter and she was a sister of our eighth Guru, Guru Hakrishanji. She recorded the hymns and the sakis of the Gurus. Think about what you like to create. Do you like writing? Do you like drawing? Let's be as creative as possible. Be brave like Mata Bhag Koji. She was a fearless warrior who led the Charlie Mukte into battle with her love for the Guru shining as bright as the sun. Mata Bhagoji was fearless. She didn't run away when her Guru needed her. So what do you do when you are scared? Inspire like Mata Gurjriji. She taught Gurbani to the Sahib Zade, igniting the flame of Guru's love in their hearts. Mata Gurdjieji's life is an inspiration to many people. 
including the Char Sahib Zade, the sons of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. She would constantly tell the Char Sahib Zade stories of the bravery, kindness and sacrifices of their father, their grandfather and the other gurus before them to inspire them. Who inspires you? It could be a teacher, it could be a, one of your parents, it could be a friend. Lead the way like Mata Sundar Goji. She helped make Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji's Sarup widely available to light the way for the growing Khalsa Pant. She was an amazing leader with a heart of gold. How can you be an amazing leader? Think of the qualities that you would need to, to serve other people. Stand up for justice like Mata Sahib Gorji. She was a leader with a heart of gold and she wasn't afraid to tackle bullies. Guru Gobind Singh Ji then blessed her with the title Mother of the Khalsa. Bullying is when someone makes someone else feel bad by either making fun of them or hurts them on purpose. Bullying is wrong and therefore you should always tell a responsible adult. So what would you do if a kid at school made fun of your friend? Would you join in or would you take action and stand up to the bully like Mata Sahib Gorji and say that this is wrong? I hope that you would follow the example of Mata Sahib Gorji. Be wise like Rani Sada Gorji. She was the brains behind Maharaja Ranjit Singh, most important battle plans and a commander as brave as a lion. She helped lay the foundation of the Sikh empire. She was very wise. And do you know that Waheguru teaches us everything that we need to know? So what have you learned today? Whatever you do, wherever you go, you'll be a core and the world will know. Show them how bold and beautiful a core can be, for you are the daughter of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. In the book, one quality has been highlighted for each Sikh woman. However, these women possess all the qualities we've talked about in the book. They're brave, they're wise, they are leaders, and they have, they had those qualities and many more. Our gurus gave Sikh women equality, freedom and respect. They gave them a place in Sikhi. I hope this book helps you to realize your own inner beauty and strength so you can become a good role model to others. And for the boys out there, Think of the women in your life, whether it's your sister, your mum, your friend. How can you support them so they can become wise and brave leaders too? I'll leave those questions with you. They're very difficult questions. Just think about it. Think about how that you can be creative, how you can inspire the people, how you can become a good leader. And most importantly, think about what seva you did today and what seva you can do tomorrow. I'll see you next time for another episode of Storytime. Bye.